Two top qualifiers here in Division Two today, Nico Young, Jace Asprenner. Congratulations, gentlemen. I'll start with you first, Nico, um, if you could. Obviously, in the prelims, there's a lot of maintenance work that kind of goes into it to get you, you know, ready for CIF finals, state, and, and so forth. Um, what was the plan here today about what you wanted to do in terms of how you wanted to feel out there on this course today? Yeah, so we definitely wanted to feel really good today and kind of um, take it sort of like we would a tempo. So we kind of went out um, moderately, like not that bad the first mile, and then kind of just held that for the rest of the race. Yeah. Was there a particular time you were looking for? Again, I know this was more of a tune-up for you, but there, was there a range that you said, okay, I'll be satisfied with this particular time today? Yeah, like, I think the time range, maybe like five flat pace, I think was like, um, like a pretty good, like, like a little bit faster than tempo, but right about in that same range, so. When you look ahead toward next week, obviously the intensity level will be a little bit higher there. Um, what are some of the things that you're going to judge your performance by? Not necessarily just winning, but knowing, you know, in terms of what's a mile to attack, how the course will kind of run against some of the other competition. How will you go about that particular challenge next week? Um, yeah, so we'll, I'll definitely um, go harder next week, I would say. I'm kind of just going to feel out the race and see how it goes from there. I'm not, I don't have a like, race plan yet. And we'll talk to you, Jace. Uh, just take me through your mindset today. Obviously, again, a tune-up, just trying to get ready, get your body in the right frame of mind to attack this particular course. How were you able to accomplish that here today? Um, I mean, we were just kind of out here just to kind of get through the rounds. And uh, before the race, Sean was actually telling us just like to kind of group together, like find find your guy. So we had uh, like two packs of two and a pack of three with our guys. And we were all just trying to get the work in and get through the next round. You talked about getting through to the next round. Obviously, the level of expectation this year for you guys a lot higher. Um, a lot more is expected. I think the talent level would suggest that a lot more can happen for you guys. How have you guys been able to kind of push aside all expectations and just kind of go out there and perform? Um, I think something uh, our team's really good at is taking it one day at a time, like one workout at a time, and then we're just focused on the day or the repeat in front of us. We're not thinking about the whole workout. We're just thinking about the next repeat, the next race. And so we just, we're just kind of taking it one at a time, and then when we get, we'll get to nationals when we get there. But right now our mindset's towards CIF finals. You talked about CIF finals. Obviously, when you look at the calendar, certain dates, it's like, okay, we know we need to kind of go out there. Obviously, next week being one of them, what will the preparation be like for you guys as you try to attack that challenge and once again come out on top in Division Two? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, Coach Sean has kind of engineered our training just so that we're able to feel really good and like run really hard for the last three weeks of the season. Uh, specifically state and nationals, but we still want a really solid effort at CIF finals and to put a lot of guys up in that top ten. Nico, for you, um, obviously, you know, individually and team balancing the two, how are you kind of going about that this year? Um, again, not only attention, you know, team-wise, but obviously a lot of individual attention on yourself. How have you been able to balance that? Um, I think it, they go hand in hand. Like, the team motivates me to run faster, and um, we all kind of collectively want to do well. So I think, I think they don't really have to be separated, but they can, yeah. Well, fantastic yeah. warm-up effort for you guys here today. Our top two finishers in Division Two: Nico Young, Jace Asprenner. Congratulations, gentlemen. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.